I think it's fair to say the silver pickup Beetle was a success. However, <laughs> the black Beetle, not so much. Dan rightly condemned it, the engine was shot, but it's all stripped out now, but it looks a bit ugly, if I'm honest. I think what we need to do is carve this section away, keep those original Beetle lines, which are beautiful, and then cooking in the front, I'm thinking a bathroom in the back and then internally just a simple double seat facing each other. I've got the spare back seat out of the Silver Beetle, of course, dining table in the middle, some lovely flowery curtains, the ultimate retro caravan, teardrop trailer type contraption. Let's get this carved off. Don't feel the need to film my fine craftsmanship. I'm very persistent, I warn you now, I'm gonna win this. I used to be very persistent, but I'm getting old. You might have won. Has this been repaired? Oh, don't tell Dan if I've also bought a crash damage repaired vehicle. He already thinks I'm an idiot. Can I get the grinder in there? Oh, recip saw. Doesn't look quite as beautiful as I imagined either. Look at it. I'm gonna have to sand all that out, but once that's all, see? There's all this gooey stuff everywhere, but I think get the sander out, flow it through, enjoy those beautiful lines of the beetle. Ignore the fact that I may have scratched it a little bit trying to get that off. Let's give that a sand, curve it round. Beautiful. With interior design and small spaces, it's all about bringing the outside in, but not that much. That's too much of the outside on the inside. That needs filled. A pee to a golf ball, apparently. Huh? Come on. No, 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 no gravity. No, I maybe needed some structure in there, did I? Oh, or more hardener, possibly. It's not pretty, but it's prettier. Not my finest work, it must be said. Right, so the filler on the other side wasn't overly successful. It turns out you need something for the filler to stick to. So, expanding foam. And I don't know if you've ever used this, but every single time I've used it, I've put too much in and it's expanded out to here somewhere. So I'm gonna learn from my lessons and not do that. Less is more. I should probably check where this is going to. Right, it's not come out on the inside. It's, it's filling something successfully. For any professionals watching this, I do apologize. There we go. That's better. Thanks a million dollars. It looks so much better with a bit of black paint. And look at the drawer bar that my mate Lucian has made. What a fantastic bit of welding. And he's made this out of scrap metal that was 20 quid from the scrap yard. Fitted a jockey wheel, bit of height adjustability, because it's quite heavy actually. And he's even wired up the rear lights to work. So when we plug this into the vehicle, the lights will do exactly what the vehicle does. I'm chuffed with that. And do you know what? I'm not a fan of shiny silver, but I think the contrast between this being the new and the black being the old really works. I'm chuffed with that. I'm not gonna have heated seats in my camper bed. So that can come off. Oh, is that an idea? Heated seats in the camper bed. No, come on, it's complicated enough. That's off. No, it's not. 
There we go. Posi two, that's what we need. Now we're talking. Right, there we go. Yes! Hurrah! Get out! So much more space, well worth doing. The Beetle has got a notoriously large deep dash and that would have all been wasted space. I'd have only filled it with tat and cactuses and salt and pepper shakers and coffee machines. So I always hoped and kind of knew this was gonna be a big feeling space, but actually it's massive. Now the dash is out, the seats are out, the gearbox tunnely bit's out, it's huge. And all I need to do really is fit the rear seats from the pickup truck here, the backrest there, the seat here, opposite that one, complete mirror image because the Beetle's kind of symmetrical. And then in dining mode, there'll be a table between the two, dining for four. Then I think what needs to happen is that might pivot out the way for more of a lounging environment. And then it needs to go into bed mode where the table probably lowers to the floor like in an old caravan. And then I think the base of this slides forwards, and then the backrest slides downwards. And there might be a little gap that the scatter cushions can fill. But ultimately, a full-size double bed, a dining area and a lounging area, all inside a Volkswagen Beetle. Bathroom at the back, kitchen at the front, solar on the roof. Boom! I need to get, um, Cutting some wood, don't I? If I get out. That looks awesome and, oh yeah, it's actually quite comfortable. I was actually quite nervous about this piece of wood here, digging in the back of your heels, but you're not sitting upright. It's for slouching, it's for relaxing. We're in lounge mode. In dining mode, you sit upright. And then in bed mode, this slides forward. And the backrest then slides down. But I just need to be able to lock this base piece in place. I wonder if we can utilize these. Just a couple of screws in the base. I need to just go, like little keyhole slots. Keep it simple. Time for the barbecue. I think that fits quite well actually. And I did consider getting an old oil drum or something, but when it comes to health and safety, food hygiene, just buy a barbecue, it's stainless steel. And I think actually the contrast with the stainless and the matte black looks quite good. Now I just need to work out how to mount it in the bonnet of a car. Obviously we're gonna lose those legs. I wonder if we can mount it on some CLS, running front to back on those outriggers, and then maybe that could just sort of tuck under there and support the edge. And I know what you're thinking, wood is flammable, barbecues are hot. However, if we char it with a blowtorch, that means it's less flammable. It creates a carbon layer or some sort of science. And it looks pretty cool too. So let's work out how to put some cross braces of timber. And I wonder if we put lots of them, that almost becomes a work surface, doesn't it? Oh, and maybe it comes up here and creates a really nice splashback. 
that's going to look awesome. And the contrast between the stainless, the black, and the charred wood will look brilliant. Let's measure up. Gonna need a little bit of finesse. Gently, gently. Oh yes, let that happen. Now I know it's a bit strange adding wood to a car, but I love it. You've got a little food prep area, and actually, it kind of looks like an old butcher's block, doesn't it? I think it's a nice little retro touch, but we've got to make it fire retardant. Let's char it. That fits like a glove and actually looks really cool. I wasn't expecting it to look that good. I thought this was just a silly idea, but now I've charred the wood, made it fire retardant and antibacterial. The splashback, just a bit of 18 mil ply line around the workshop, that looks fantastic. And imagine when you've got some herbs, a bit of basil, some knives, the cutlery, that's gonna look brilliant. Now I had naively imagined that this boot stuck out quite a long way. And as you can see, it doesn't. It's absolutely in line with the back bumper. Because I was going to mount a shower head here, but that's just going to fill the boot with water. So I need to make a big ring that pivots out on which I can hang a shower curtain and plumbing pipe. It's perfect. It's lightweight, it's easy to use, and it's always used for showers. Although there's water usually flowing through it. If I cut some of this plastic pipe into a nice big ring, mount it on there, pivot it up on a hinge, ta-da! Outdoor alfresco showering. So, let's cut myself off a section of pipe. That's good. How wide is a shower curtain? I mean, I've ordered a quite loud looking one. I hope that goes all the way around. Yeah, that's plenty, isn't it? Right, let's drill a hole there. Nut, washer, the other side, tighten it up. Done. Easy. Too easy, this. Yes! Now what I want to do is I want to put a couple of little clips there to hold it in shower location. And then it should fold down like that. And then I need to lock it in travel location. Perfect. That's not going anywhere, is it? <laughs> washy, washy, washy. Transport mode. Activated. Yes. Right, we are done. The solar is on, the barbecue's in, the interior looks amazing. Let's hook it up to my mate's van and go camping.
actually a really lovely space to be. Lots of natural light, seating for four, a dining table that swivels and goes into bed mode later, festoon bulbs running off the solar panels, and freshly cooked chicken on my rotisserie barbecue. And it's stupid. I get it, it's ridiculous, but it works. When you think about a caravan, what is it? It's a small space with a shower and a toilet and a fridge in the boot, dining table, seating, bedding, and the ability to cook. I've got everything I need all under this one roof. Well, kind of sticking out the boot and the bonnet a bit as well, but you know what I mean. This is brilliant, I love it. The shower's a bit weird, I must confess. I'm not gonna shower in that later, but I am gonna go to bed right here by folding that seat down, full size double, happy days. Oh, it's actually quite comfy. Promise me, you'll make it look dark in the edit. It won't look like I'm lying in the middle of a field in the sunshine, right?